from frogs that have enough poison to kill multiple grown men to killer frogs that are smaller than your little finger. Today on Factspace, we're looking at types of frogs. These fascinating creatures are widely distributed across all the continents from the tropics to the subarctic regions with the exception of Antarctica and certain parts of the globe. The most diverse and astonishing species of frogs are heavily concentrated in the tropical rainforests. Frogs are cold-blooded animals and can adjust their body temperature to the nature of their surroundings. When they get too cold, they come out to the light for some warmth, and when their body temperature gets too warm, they submerge themselves into a pool of water to cool off. They can also be found dwelling around moist land in slow-moving water bodies such as a lake, pond, or stream. A significant number of these frog varieties have become popular and intensely studied because of their beautiful colors, fascinating characteristics, and habits. Marsh Frog Polophylax ridibundus The marsh frog is a type of frog that is native to Europe and characterized by different color. Although usually green, they can have patterns ranging from gray, brown, or dark green. They are identified through light yellow green stripes which run all across their backs from their posterior area to the tip of their nostrils. The male marsh frog averages around between 12 centimeters and are generally smaller than the females, although they can grow up to a maximum of 17 centimeters. These amphibians love to live in marshes from which their name is from and can easily be found dwelling in still and calm moving water bodies. Phantasmal Poison Frog Epipetabates Tricolor This poison dark frog is a dark reddish brown color with white stripes. This endangered species from Ecuador are found in very limited places, mainly in the Andean slopes around the floors of the tropical rainforests. These frogs average less than one inch in length, although that doesn't stop them from eating flies, caterpillars, spiders, and ants. Their skin is highly toxic. This isn't natural, it forms from a mixture of the different insects that they eat. This forms a combination of chemicals that become so toxic that it can be fatal to humans with only two micrograms. Madagascar Tomato Frog Discophis Antongili One of the most noticeable features of this frog is its red and plump nature that resembles a ripe tomato. The tomato frog's distinct red coloration is one of several mechanisms it uses to ward off and scare predators away. These frogs can swell up to twice its body size when threatened by a predator. When attacked, this frog discharges a whitish substance to numb their predators and make an escape. The same substance can also give humans an allergic reaction. Female members of these groups are brightly colored and also larger than their male counterparts, measuring about 4 inches in length, while the males have a dull color, not as bright as the females, and measure about 2 to 3 inches in length. These frogs can be in the northeast of the island of Antongal Bay and feed mainly on a diet of beetles, flies, and mosquitoes. Edible Frog Polophylax K.L. esculentus the whole body of the edible frog is covered in light green with two black stripes behind its back and black patches behind its eyes and legs. It is one of the most common frog species in Europe. The edible frog is a hybrid of the marsh and pond frog. The females are between 5 cm and 9 cm in length, while the males have a length between 6 cm and 11 cm. Widely found dwelling around ponds and lakes, they are also fondly referred to as the common water frog. Edible frogs have been introduced in Britain and Spain to foster the diversity of frog species. The edible frog is also consumed as a delicacy in many parts of the world, especially in France for the frog's legs. Gulf Adulcian Poison Frog Philobatus vitatus This frog has neurotoxic alkaloid toxins in its skin and is another that makes its toxin from the things that this frog eats. Although not as deadly as other frogs, it is still considered to be the fourth most toxic of this genus. It can cause strong pain and even seizures if enough toxin is applied. This Costa Rican frog is sometimes kept as a pet. Red-Eyed Tree Frog Agalichnus caladrius The red, bulging eyes of the red-eyed tree frog is one of its most prominent physical attributes, from which it derives its name. This type of frog is also identified by its neon green body enhanced with yellow and blue stripes on both sides and bright orange feet. This unique and fascinating coloration also serves as an adaptive measure to escape predators. When in danger, they are believed to flash their very distinct colors in a manner that confuses their attackers briefly, giving them an opportunity to make their escape. Their huge and strong powerful webbed feet make them extraordinary jumpers, earning this type of frog the nickname Monkey Frogs, especially when they spend lots of time in trees. 
Although they're usually nearby to rivers and ponds and rainforests around humid lowlands on the Atlantic slopes from northern Roaxa in Mexico, they are also in southern Veracruz, central Panama and northern Colombia, the Pacific Slope in southwestern Nicaragua, and southwestern Costa Rica and eastern Panama. Golden Poison Frog – Philobatus terribilis the golden poison frog, also known as the golden dart frog, is one of the world's most poisonous frogs and is native to the Amazon rainforest along Colombia's Pacific coastal region. This frog is small in size with a light to dark yellow coloration all over its body, light green legs with big black eyes. The golden poison frog has been classified as an endangered species due to habitat loss, population decline, and limited spread. The golden dart frog produces a lethal substance called patracotoxin as a coating on its brightly colored skin, making the frog poisonous instead of venomous. This poisonous substance has poisonous effects on the organs, nerves, and muscles. One frog can kill up to 10 men. The use of this poison by the golden poison frog is as a defense mechanism and not necessarily for hunting or catching prey. The frogs in this video are just a few examples of the diverse species of frogs that have been discovered and identified. While some have been classified as an endangered species due to habitat loss, the pet trade, and other harmful practices, frogs are no doubt vital components of the Earth's diverse ecosystem and adequate provisions need to be put in place for the protection of species at risk. Thanks for watching.